Meet Alex. He's just woken up and has a big day ahead. The first thing he does is take out the trash. As he checks this off his to-do list, he feels a surge of satisfaction. It gives Alex a sense of accomplishment and motivation to tackle the rest of his day. The reason for this feeling of satisfaction is because of dopamine. It is often called the reward chemical. It's released in our brains when we achieve something or even just anticipate a reward. It plays a crucial role in motivation, focus and productivity. When Alex checks off that task, dopamine is released, giving him a little high and encouraging him to keep going. Moving on, Alex is very health conscious and he heads to the gym every morning. After a good 1-hour workout, he's feeling fantastic. Something is keeping him in a good mood and is flooding his body with energy even after an intense workout. The reason for this response from Alex's body is because of endorphins. They are our body's way of dealing with stress and pain. They act as natural painkillers and can produce a feeling of euphoria. When Alex exercises, his body releases endorphins, which help reduce pain and trigger positive feelings. This is why physical activity is often recommended for boosting mood and energy levels. Later, Alex meets his friend Sam for lunch. They have a great conversation, <laughs> sharing stories and laughs. This interaction hmm. makes Alex feel significant and content. It's those meaningful connections that boost his overall happiness. Serotonin is a chemical that contributes to this feeling of well-being and happiness. It's often linked to social interactions and a sense of belonging. When Alex spends time with his friend and has a meaningful conversation, his brain releases serotonin, enhancing his mood and making him feel valued and connected. In the evening, Alex, <laughs> after a tiring day, spends some time with his family. A warm hug from his partner when he comes home and then playing fetch with his dog. This makes Alex feel connected and trustful, strengthening his relationships. Oxytocin, the love hormone is known for its role in social bonding. It's released during physical touch and social interactions, promoting feelings of trust and connection. When Alex hugs his partner or pets his dog, his brain releases oxytocin, which helps strengthen his bonds and makes him feel loved and secure. Now, why does this matter to us, especially as product designers? Understanding these chemicals helps us create experiences that people naturally enjoy and want to return to. For instance, incorporating small rewards or celebrations in your app can trigger dopamine, making users feel accomplished. Encouraging community interaction can boost oxytocin, fostering a sense of connection among users. When we design products that tap into these happy chemicals, we can create intuitive experiences that bring joy and satisfaction to users. It's about crafting products that not only solve problems but also make people happy and connected. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.